Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Energy First Golf. Uh, today in this video, uh, actually we have never really talked about this. Um, a lot of viewers ask me, um, why do I hit it thin? Why do I hit it fat? Or do I hit the ground? So today we're going to talk about the reason why. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. We now have a personal swing analysis and also we offer personal instructional video. We have our own golf gloves, belts, shirts, hats, and bucket hats. If you're interested, please click on the Shopify link below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel. And please continue watching this video. Um, the truth is, if you guys watch our channel, the simplest way to say it is that if you hit it thin, you hit it fat, you hit it hit the ground the easiest way to say is that because you're not swinging okay you're not swinging through the ball and also that means you're not rotating through the ball there's too much of up and down movement and there's too much hand movement or arm movement which is exactly what we've been talking about is called the power contradiction because you're using way too much of your arms in other words, you're just hitting the ball. So if you're hitting a thin, um, fat, hit the ground, it's really the same thing. But today, I, I want to explain to you what's going on if you hit a thin or hit a fat or hit the ground, right? Really, hitting a fat and hit the ground is the same thing, okay? So, basically, we already know that when you set up to the ball, when you set up to the ball, your posture, your posture has got an angle, okay? And we already know that if you're turning your body and if you're swinging, you're supposed to maintain in this angle, which is called the maintaining spine angle, right? So as you can see, if I'm on plane right now, if I'm maintaining spine angle, if I'm turning right now, and the ball... It's going to be in the path of my setup, means this rotation. I don't need to feel like I have to reach for it. Okay? So simply put, if you try to hit the ball, all of the bad things is going to happen. Thin, fat, ground. It's going to happen. Because why? Think about it. Right now, if I'm setting up like this right now, if I go to the top, if on the downswing, my hands are much faster than my body, and my body rotation is actually following my, my arms, which is, again, most amateurs, when you're watching this video, you know your trail arm, which is your right arm, is doing a lot of work, which is unnecessary. So on the downswing, if you're turning your body, and what happened here, if this goes too fast, if this arm goes way too fast, you can see you're already going to hit the ground, right? Think about it. If I'm turning my body, letting the arm go, letting the arms go way too fast, and I'm going to hit the ground, and then you're going to hit fat and hit the ground shots, right? Now, a lot of times, if you, some of you have been playing golf for a long time, and if you have a good hand-eye coordination and athleticism. Thin shots is going to happen because what happened is that on the downswing, you have used all this power from the top on the downswing because you have such a good athleticism and hand eye coordination, you will move your body up to compensate the striking point. Because if you don't move up, you will hit the ground. So, in other words, you will. Come up and time, you will come up and time the strike zone. Now, if you're timing it, chance on, you will hit a thin sometimes. Right? Now, if I'm just using my arms only without turning my body, you can see if I'm standing over here right now, I'm only going to use my body. Now, I'm only going to use my arms like this. And you can see 
there's no way I will hit a thin or hit a fat or hit the ground. Right? So the problem is that once you get your body involved and then you use your arms, the fat shot and the thin shot is going to happen. But now why, if I do the swing, if I swing through the ball, the fast shots and thin shot is, is not going to happen. Because here's the reason, right? We already know that as you set up and get to the top and turning, this club is, is going to be on a Z plane, which is a diagonal, not a vertical not horizontal, right? So in other words, if I'm turning right now, if I'm turning right now, I'm letting my body leading the arms. And when I get to here, if I keep turning it, and you can see my hands and my arm stays in front of the ball in the shaft, and then I'm creating shaft lean. So you can see I'm getting a lot more what I call the face time, meaning the club is going to get through the ball with a better attack angle, AOA, right? So you can see that, guys. So what I, I like to use the term more face time, meaning you're utilizing the way how the club's designed. Okay, and that's in the, one of the reasons why a lot of tour players and professional they swing the ball longer. For example, this is a five iron. As you can see with shaft lean, this degree, this loft actually gets stronger. So in other words, you can see right now, based on my body rotation, I'm not going to have a lot of turf reaction before the ball. So in other words, I'm not going to swing the ball heavy and not going to swing the ball thin because my body isn't moving up. I'm just rotating. Correct? So now, understanding at this position, that's why when you guys on the downswing, understand what the right arm is doing. We already talked about this lagging movement. The arm's going to lag behind you. And once you get to here, it's not supposed to extend to the ball. If you're extending to the ball, you will hit the ground and hit a heavy. So in other words, this right arm, because your body rotation, and you're going to turn and get to here, my arms is actually also turning. So my arms are not extending to the ball. So your arms literally looks like this. Okay. So if your right arm gets really tight, it's almost like when you take the club back, you get really flat or the arms get tight. And then you are taking away the room to lag it. So on the downswing, you will either come out or you will either extend too early. So you either hit the ground or coming over the top. And here's what's funny when you're coming over the top. A lot of times, most people are coming over the top you will still strike the ball. doesn't matter. You hit a fat chance. Or a lot of times when you're coming over the top, coming out like this, you will either hit a fat or thin, but you will still make contact with the ball is because you're creating room from the outside here. But with a golf swing, you're supposed to create room from here with rotation. Okay, so again, I truly believe learning playing golf is difficult. It doesn't matter if you're hitting and if you're swinging, but the swing mechanics to understand your golf swing should not be complicated. I truly believe the golf swing is not that complicated if you understand what I mean by energy first, impact later. Okay, so um, today we just briefly explaining to you why you're hitting a thin, hitting a fat, or hit the ground. All right. So, um, again, 
every club is the same because every club, when you set up, you have a posture. You just have a different length of the club, right? And then if you're turning it, the length, the club itself is going to take care of the swing path. So in other words, don't worry about, with, well, the truth is, with a longer club, most amateurs, you will have harder time to swing because the ball is further away from you. So if you use your hand-eye coordination, you're more inclined or more urge to use your arms to reach at the ball, which is your right arm. Then we're going to cause all of the problems, like the thin, the fat, from coming over the top. Again, if you use your arms, you're not swinging the golf club. You're just hitting the ball. All right, so I hope um, this video make it very clear. It shouldn't be that complicated to understand why you hit thin, why you hit fat, why you hit the ground. Okay? So uh, please uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions, let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click like and um, subscribe buttons right here. And we have two recommended videos for you to watch. And I will see you next time.